Hey, 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 folks. I'm at Bama here with Jens, and I'm charged and ready because I'm in an electric truck that is towing 2.3 megawatts of energy. And that is delivered to the job site with an electric truck. And we're stood next to another power hub, which is actually charging this vehicle. This is crazy that you've got an electric truck literally taking this huge thing to site and also a towable power hub as well. Yeah. Tell me why all of this is so important to bring it all together here at Bauman. Well, of course, uh, what we provide are the biggest charging solutions in the world. So we, we have to bring it to the biggest construction equipment fair in the world, of course. Absolutely. Um, you see a big trend of electrification of excavators, trucks and other equipment. And yeah, they need charging also in the middle of nowhere. So yeah. obviously, if you have a large uh, range of excavators in the field, you can deliver this very big power hub to it to yep. charge multiple of them at the same time or, or for a week or something. Um, but of course, there are also needs for smaller pieces of equipment to be charged. Um, so therefore, we have also a smaller model. So we try to provide the entire range of products yep. for um, yeah, the entire range of construction equipment, so to say. What you're doing is you're delivering this whole mega, 2.3 megawatts. That's huge amount of electricity. But that gets delivered to site. It can even be craned down into tunnel areas because yep. tunneling and things like that need electric equipment, don't they, to do it. So tell me, first of all, what if I had a house, 2.3 megawatts, how long could that run my house for, for example? About one year. A so year? Can... <laughs> That's huge, isn't it? Yeah. What kind of thing needs megawatt charging? Um, well, trucks, for yep. instance, with like like very big batteries with a serious range. So the Volvos and the Mercedes uh, Benz trucks will be uh, equipped with MCS. But within the construction sector, there's really no machine yet that is ready to receive megawatt charging. But we're prepping for that moment, aren't we? Because it's we're getting happen. bigger and bigger and bigger now yeah. with the um, amount of equipment it's on. This is the beast, the megawatt beast. I mean, it feels like I'm firing electricity out here into the machine. So when you say megawatt charging, how fast can this thing actually charge something up? So really, really extremely fast. In a, a truck within 20 minutes or something from zero to 100, it can deliver 3.5 megawatts at one go, so it's insane. So a Tesla is like 250 kilowatts, and uh, and, and this and, is and like mega. Yeah, it's like a blink of an eye, it will vaporize a Tesla so fast it can charge, basically. <laughs> so in the blink of an eye, I can charge it up, but what's really exciting about this technology and about bringing it in already is yeah. that you can now say to people, look, as we travel down this road, we can get the standard amount into a machine that we would when if we were pouring diesel or yeah. uh, in, into the, the tank, can't we? Yeah, what, what we see a lot is that um, there's a lot of range anxiety, whether they can make it through the day. Yeah. With this, you can do like super fast charging during the lunch break. You can make the day easily and then charge it for the rest of the night. And you can work perfectly fine in that manner. We need to talk a little bit, Max, about the power hub that's literally yeah. towable, folks. So what have we got here and um, why is this so important for people that are coming along into this space and remotely again? Well, first of all, when you forget to charge, this <laughs> is an easy one to bring into the field and yeah. fix up the job quickly. For instance, when you have a truck, range anxiety, in the back of your head, you know, okay, my colleague can deliver this within a half an hour and I can continue with driving. So that's something also to take the range anxiety pain away. Yep. But also, of course, in remote areas, for instance, where you have smaller equipment needed or within basements where it's quite compact, you cannot always deliver such a big solution. So therefore, we also enlarge the range to the smaller solutions. So the one thing I need to do for Dens, if they're to get home from Bama because they've had a big long trip, is to make sure that they are providing the power for their own transport home. So Max, going to plug this in here. Yeah. And don't worry, there's no range anxiety anymore. Your powering hubs are actually powering your journey home, as they would be powering the sites across the world. Thanks very much. Thank Great you. To see you. Thanks a lot. Thanks.